for item number 11. good idea. I, I, uh, 11 and 13 I want to discuss, but beforehand I got some other I can do. I mean, it's all under three minutes, so so uh, you know, I'm concerned about these lawsuits and stuff that the council's getting themselves into. I don't know. Some of them might turn out to be criminal. Who knows? I don't know what's going on, but I feel like you need to protect yourself from what this council's got themselves into. So I'm addressing this to you. That you need to distance yourself from any and all actions this council is planning. Look at the lawsuits and where their previous actions have taken them. They're going to continue doing what they do. You should protect yourself and pay no role in their misdeeds. Take courage that the people are with you, not the council. They're with Leanne. Well, all except Ronnie, and he's never here anymore. I guess he saw the light and where this council was going because he has refused to take part anymore. So again, take courage. There will be a bright new day for Plum Grove under your leadership. You have the authority to refuse to sign any more contracts and stop the spending for the next two months. You've got two more meetings, two more meetings. Uh, ensuring the new council won't be in even more debt. All spending should stop until the new council is seated. And I'll wait till we get to 11 and 13, if that's okay. of the city secretary to be a member of the Texas Municipal Clerk Association. How much is it going to cost the city? And this was not on the 2021 budget. Number 11, concerning the lawyer fees. This lawsuit was not brought against the city of Plum Grove. This is a private lawsuit against the ex-mayor, her counsel, Carly Sager and Donald Inlow. There's no amount attached to this resolution and could cost the city a considerable amount. 
This is not on the budget for 2021, and funds have already been spent that were not on the budget. Back in 2016, when Colony Ridge and the developer sued Leanne Kenton Walker, the case was dismissed, and the state district court judge, Mark Moore, Field ordered Mr. Harris Colony Ridge to pay her legal fees that nearly totaled $60,000. I cannot imagine how much <coughs> these fees could reach with so many defendants involved. I can't breathe. Good. Good. It could possibly bankrupt the city of Plum Grove. The lawsuit alleges that the ex-mayor and her council in their official capacity used city funds to promote their vendetta toward Trey Harris and Colony Ridge. It also alleges that they were not looking out for the welfare of the city and its citizens. This speaks for itself by looking at the crumbling infrastructure of the city, dangerous roads and intermittent ditches. Nothing has been done to the roads or ditches in the last five or six years. I do, I do not think that they should vote on a resolution as it is in conflict of interest and the legality is somewhat questionable. When John Cronin was Attorney General, he posted an article that stated, a city council member is disqualified from voting on a resolution to pay his or her legal fees or another city council member indicted on the same facts for the same offense. He also stated, although it is not required to do so, a city council may spend public funds to reimburse a city council member for the legal expenses of defending against an unjustified pros prosecution for open meeting violation. It may not decide to pay legal expenses until it knows the outcome oh. of the criminal prosecution. The city may not pay the expenses of the city council member who is found gu guilty of such violations. I understand that the specifics are somewhat different but it does raise some legitimate legal aspects up. It seems to me if the defendants listed in the lawsuit lose, then we, the taxpayers in the city of Plum Grove, would be paying for their legal fees for them to misuse city funds and misrepresent their lack of care for the city and its citizens. Number 13. Time's up. I'm almost done. Time's up. Are you running the meeting? Time's up. We can't. She can just, she only has 13. What does the city secretary's contract consist of? We're breaking the open meeting up. Right there were some of my time. You can't do that. You've done it before. Well, I, 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 look, look, it's simple. Just let him read the rest of it. It's just what we're accused of in the lawsuit. He's got three minutes. If it's breaking the Open Meetings Act, why are we going to let They're not breaking. They just trade it at all. Number 13. Carly Sager. Secretary contract consistent. Carly Sager. Excuse me. We're in the middle of a meeting. So go ahead, sir. Who's Carly Sager? We have to wait till after. Break the open meetings Act again. You, you, you have to wait till after the meeting. We're breaking the open meetings Act again. Are you recording? So we have this. And Mary Lou Smith. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Number 13. What does the city secretary contract consist of? Should the mayor have some say? So to who she would like for her secretary? I do not feel that the current secretary has the loyalty to the current Mary Aaron or Mayor Mary Arundel or the welfare of the city. I feel her allegiance is with the ex-mayor and this council, and she in conclusion with them to get the new mayor to resign so they can get Lee Ann Denton Walker back in as mayor or city council member. It happened before and could very well happen again. Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Ortiz. Ortiz. Um, actually, a lot of it has to do with this. Uh, I was trying to figure out, have you guys already made up your mind whether y'all were going to pay for this um, off of our taxes, or is it something that this meeting is actually going to I mean, determine whether y'all do it or not? 
Yes, so it's being decided. Great. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, uh, why are we having pay for you all this uh, defense? Do you know that. we're not supposed we to answer your questions? Okay. I, I know, I'm just explaining. Well, we can't answer your questions. Wouldn't this be like a conversation to have? I mean, it's with us? I'm pretty yeah. sure they want to know. They don't see Well, I mean, I'll hold off on you. You can come talk to them after the meeting, or I can give you their email addresses, yeah. phone numbers. If we, they discuss it now with it not being in certain parts, because I know you're new to the meetings, yeah. it's called Breaking the Open Meetings Act, and that's what these lawsuits cover, and that's not what they do. Well, yeah, come talk to us after. I'm well. have more than happy to talk to you. But they're probably going to vote on it and pass it by the uh, Hey, 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 do hey, hey, don't talk out of turn. Michael Schrader? Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, this is a public comments section, so we're allowed to make comments. We're not supposed to be asking questions. Uh, that, if you wanted to ask questions, that would be like during a motion, when there's a motion on the floor and it's being discussed. That would be a better time probably to ask questions. Uh, the way I see this, uh, what I've heard about the lawsuits and what I've read, if we don't stand behind our city council and our city elected officials, then the city is going to be dictated to by a developer from now on. So it will be whatever the developer wants, and you'll just take whatever he gives you. So because if you don't, he'll sue, and then you'll be able to creep without a paddle. Uh, we need to support our elected officials. Is what this comes down to. They live here in our city. The developer does not. Thank you very much. Number six, consideration, discussion, and possible action to approve minutes for January 11, 2020 and related matters. Has everybody read them? I make a motion that we approve the minutes for the minutes. All in favor? Okay, consideration, discussion, and possible action to approve the minutes for January 26, 2020, and related matters. Is everybody read? I make a motion that we approve the minutes from January 26th. Second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, number eight. Consideration, discussion, possible action to approve treasurer report for December 2020 and related matters. Any comment? Uh, yes, I have some comments. Um, they are relating to our bill from the Randall Law Office. Um, so we just got a complete breakdown of the bill, which is I believe the highest that it's ever been, or one of the highest bills that it's ever been, at thirty-three thousand um, dollars. I spoke to the lawyer to get some clarification on some of the things that are on this bill, and frankly, Mayor, we have a huge problem. Your your spending is out of control with the lawyer. Um, this amount would be what we would be able to pay. Are you saying uh, this that? amount? Excuse me. Let me finish. Okay. This amount would be what we could pay a police officer if we were able to hire one. You've basically used their entire salary asking questions of the lawyer. So I asked him about some of the stuff specifically. Um, it looks like permitting and variance issues. Let me see, let me find the other one here. There's five or six different things. Um, permits and flooding. Uh, specifically, you're calling to ask him about the permits and the, for the new businesses that are going in that have already been approved in the city. Okay. For some reason, I don't understand why you're working against the city having businesses, which is really strange to me because the city gets sales tax, which could potentially reduce everyone's taxes mm -hmm. oh, in yeah. the room. Yeah. So I, I don't understand why you want your neighbors to pay more taxes. So why are you working why against? Why do you think I'm working against you? I think that, I I think that you're working against us. Because having, I want to make sure it's legal. Yes. 
Okay. Yes, because it's already been approved okay. and it's already been done by a previous council okay, mayor. Absolutely. It's already been taken care of. No, you, you apparently don't because you keep calling and asking over and over. Okay. Why do you have and to ask much, so many times? How much did I actually spend? Uh, it's quite a lot and I can let anyone who wants to look at it, you can take a look at this. Is that for one month? This is for the entire time that you've been in office. The, no, I'm sorry, this is from January. So we also Are you had. Sure it's just from January? Yes. It's just for January. And the, the, the total Are amount. Yes. The total amount, yes, that yes. is from your November, December, and January. Okay. Yes. And so what else so, was in So that? we've only what had else? about three weeks of, of actual so let's time. Pass it around and let the people look at it. If you're gonna okay. It oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm more than happy let's to do, do that it. because you have a spending problem. You, you like to accuse. Problem. Excuse yes. me. You need Bobby. to leave. You're not the mayor. Yes, I am. Anybody, Anybody can call point of order. Anybody can call point of order. If you're going to speak out of turn, I will throw you out of the meeting. I will have these nice people throw you out of the meeting. You will have them vote without me? Yes, ma'am. I sure can do that. Okay. And you know, if you'd like to look at okay, can you please escort her out? One of our mayors I had it we had in here was gonna hire a police officer who was not commissioned and paid his uh, fees to go to school. Thank you. And for he leaving. was not commissioned. Thank so you for why our mayor So is back a, to the issue at hand. Asking there's questions. a major problem with the spending. <laughs> And it needs to be curbed. I also spoke to the city attorney and he explained that a lot of the stuff that's in here is where you call and ask a question and, and then he speaks to Missy about your question. So a lot of this could be um, helped if you would talk to Missy about stuff directly. I understand. So there's a, I don't know if there's a communication, there's a communication breakdown somewhere because this is, this is extremely high and it, it's a problem. discussion of possible action concerning a resolution of the City Council of the City of Plum Grove, Texas, approving the payment of legal expenses for council members in relation, in relation to a lawsuit filed against each council member by Colony Ridge Development LLC providing for repeal, providing servability, and providing an effective date. Comments? Y'all have the resolution. 
y'all have the resolution. Um, I think there was a couple of people that wanted to speak. Yeah, I also want to say that I have several emails. They couldn't be here, but there are several emails that came in that to support y'all to cover this because if we don't nip it in the bud now, then it will never stop. As long as you do what's best for Plum Grove and not what's best for Colony Ridge, then y'all will continue to be sued if you sit at this table. Mr. Padgett, did you want to speak on this one? Yes. Um, I want to back up to number nine real quick. Uh, you mentioned pallets of grass. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go with that. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, it's too much. I, but <laughs> what, whatever landscaping you do or if uh -huh. you do sod, um, there needs to be irrigation and uh, for at least three weeks to a month to establish the growth of that. If you're just going to waste your money okay. throwing that yeah. down and not watering yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying. Because uh, I know that there's no well or there's no water over there yet. Right. That right. wouldn't be put in until that was done. Okay. Um, back, back to number 11. Uh, I think some of my questions have already been answered. Was the city included with the lawsuit? No. No, right? Um, number two, the council that sits here now, I think Carly is the only one that, did, that just came in. Are the rest of you going to go for re-election or are you just going to go out? I'm, I'm going for re-election. You're going for re-election? Re You're going for re-election? She's not even supposed to be here. Right? I'm not even supposed to be on council. I was oh. just filling in. What, what about the gentleman that sits over here? No, he's out. Okay, so uh, the, other thing, the, the other thing. Be here either. The other thing is, she brought. I didn't know it, but she brought up that it may be illegal for you guys to vote on each other's thing here. But the thing I was going to bring up is that the the public needs to vote on whether we spend our money on your legal fees and my opinion that for you to vote on your legal fees is inappropriate and, and not not fair to the taxpayers. I so I think the taxpayers I, I think that needs to be put on the ballot and let the public have a voice. Amy, it doesn't go on the ballot though. Needs to. Anybody else? But if um, if what she's saying has legs to stand on then if y'all vote on this, it could be illegal for you to vote on each other's uh, legal standings. You're up. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, also, you should do this to the mayor. You should refuse to support any attempt at making Plum Grove taxpayers liable for this council's misconduct. Remember when they were all on top of the world? And they gleefully followed under the direction of Leanne. They were all so happy. Well, they were grown-ups then, and they're grown-ups now. And they, are, they and they alone are responsible for their actions. Certainly not the taxpayers. How much are all these fees going to be? If she's going to allow us to spend thirty-three thousand dollars to make sure everything in Plum Grove is going to be legal, because the previous council, who is now getting in a lawsuit, we're here. Thank you, sir. I mean, it's, it's going to cost more than thirty-three thousand dollars. Plus, you can change the individual. Thank you, sir. I can answer but that question. Well, why she oh. didn't sue and, and not oh. you, because she came oh. in the same time you did. You're not signed up to speak, so. I'm not speaking. No, no, so if anyone wants to know why certain people were sued, feel free to uh, talk to me outside after the meeting. Uh -huh. the same amount of time that the mayor has. Uh -huh. 
So tell me where the logic is in that. The developer suing the specific people no, that, that he's, hey, that no, he's hey, that's not okay, then I'll just make my statement without directing it at Mr. Pierce. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, you make my statement, though. Yeah. Okay. So we sought the, um, we talked to the attorney about this mm -hmm. extensively. Mm -hmm. It is not illegal. He, he did hours and hours of research to determine whether it was illegal and whether there was precedent. Um, he brought up what Ms. Carey mentioned. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely not illegal. There's no law against it anywhere in the state of Texas. Um, so what's happening here is you have a million dollar developer who is trying to bully a city council or members of a city council that he doesn't like because the city is suing him over water issues. <laughs> so basically, instead of suing the city, which would have made more sense to me, he's suing each of us individually. Do you know what that does? Do you know what that, that means? That means he's suing my family. That means he's trying to hurt my family. He's, he's attacking Barbara's grandbaby, brand new grandbaby. He's going after her family. He's attacking Mary Lou's son. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. And if you wanted to run for city council, how would you feel if you wanted to run for city council knowing that at any time you could be sued by a hundred million dollar developer personally and the city's not gonna protect you? And everything that's that's on that lawsuit, which is <laughs> laughable. Literally laughable. Everything that's on there, the city council, before me, believe it or not, even though I'm being sued also, the city council did it, it, to protect the city. Every single thing that's on that lawsuit. So I, I just want, I want everyone in the room to think about, if you're going to run for city council, are you going to be ready to be sued by a, a, a developer who has a hundred million dollars? I'd like to answer that. You can't. Sorry. Oh, wait a minute. That's we're going to move on. We're going to move on. on. We're going to move 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 on. We're going to Consideration discussion discussion plan for to plan for attorneys for counsel for Colony Ridge lawsuit and related matters. I have a question. There has been an attorney found. And he is supposed to be meeting uh, Wednesday, but y'all have to do it so at different times because even though y'all were accused of breaking the Open Meetings Act, y'all well, are not. This attorney said that that's not breaking it because we are being individually. But we're still not going to do it because y'all don't do it. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, saying yeah, but I'm so you're going to have to go one at a time and talk with the attorney. I know. Trust me, I know. Yeah, because we don't do anything like that. <coughs> and so Leanne and Donald will be the ones that are trying to coordinate some of this because that way I'm not in the middle of it and nobody else is in the middle of it. Right, right. I know. So any other discussion that y'all would like to discuss because we're being what open and honest about Donald? everything? I don't understand what so, you're talking about. Okay, so Leanne, they, we found an attorney. He's going to represent us all, but we're going to talk to him individually. We're not going to get into a group and talk with the attorney. We're going to do it individually. So there's no saying that we broke the open meeting back. Oh, okay. I just yeah. didn't understand. Why. So Leanne and Donald, I guess, are going to get it to where. What's Leanne and Donald about to do? They're on the lawsuit. They're being They're on the lawsuit. It's everybody and Leanne and Donald except Mary. And, and Missy. And, and, and Missy. Question. What are they suing for? I mean, he's saying that we hired. Wait, 
Yeah. Talk to us afterwards. Yeah, talk to us afterwards. Really afterwards. Really afterwards. We can answer all your questions afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two of them will get up and leave, so that we're not breaking the open meeting that. And usually one goes down on that corner and sits, and I sit on this corner and will answer any of your questions. Everybody that has spoke tonight in this room has spoke against y'all spending money on those personal lawsuits. Okay, Kevin. Not everybody. Kevin. We still have to do this afterwards. Everybody in this room has spoken against. No. I understand. Thank you, sir. Sit down. So that was just a discussion. No action had to be made on that. No. Contract for me. Okay. Consideration discussion to start. Melissa Pouncey's contract and related matters. Okay, so what? Yeah, I've, uh, that was, I was in my uh, time. I was going to talk on this. Oh, you want me to talk before y'all discuss it? Your time is up. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. It's no, it's not. It's no, it's not. It's no, it's not. I went over this about 12 <laughs> times at the house. All right. No, and I went over this about 12 times at the house. And it's under three minutes. Okay. And it's under three minutes. Okay. Under three minutes. But you gotta go three minutes. Yeah. Well, sorry, Mike. Mr. Pierce, talk to us afterwards. Yeah, talk yeah, to me right. afterwards. Yeah, right. uh, I'll have a ride home. Go. Go. This is just a discussion on this. We're not making any choices. So please come talk to us after the meeting. Yeah, okay. Ms. Bay. Yeah, yeah. Miss Faye. Miss Faye. she take you on. She's Okay. Okay. I'm sure he will. Yeah. Okay. So, what do y'all want to on? So, is this the? Uh, Can I ask a question though? Since this is about me. I have it. Yes. Since everybody in the audience seems to think that we have a problem, do we have a problem? No, we don't. Have okay. Do we work well together? Yeah. Do I get you the answers that you need? Do I do the work that you need done? Yes, Thank yes, you. Have I led you the wrong way? Or let you fall in the bus? No. And can I put it up in here? Baby needs to go home. She's been with the city a long time. She needs to go home. She does. She's good at what she does. She's got a relationship with everything that's going to happen. I mean, she understands. She's so coordinated. So what do we need to add to the contract? What is it? Two-year contract now? What is it? It was a one-year. Oh, it's up to y'all. I like this one-year. Why do we have to have a contract? It's for my employment. Right. She's not elected. She's actually a paid person. She's the only paid person. Me and Mike are the only two that are paid. Yeah. The rest of us are volunteers sitting up here. We don't get paid to do this. Why are they get paid? She's a city employee. Yeah. She, she, she's the secretary. Well, three minutes are oh. up, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do y'all do? Let's do it. I'm your contract. And we have the years that it's in. Yeah. I mean, one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
time we could amend to do the insurance. Yes. Okay. yes. Or go ahead and put it in there now that when it comes available, she would be added to it. Right. Um, at somewhere down the road, when we do have more funding, and there she will doesn't. Be. Yes. She doesn't get paid for what she actually does because she does more than just city's activity. Oh, I know. Okay. I mean, she City wears manager, about four basically. different hats. Yeah. Yes. So, but she's been kind enough to do it at the low pay. So. Eventually, somewhere, I'm not going to say that's two years. We just got to see where we go with the funding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I make half of what I make. Sense. Yeah, and we know that. And I don't think looked at that in the past. So, as long as that can be amended at any time, then I say we leave everything as is in two years. It, or, you know, it's it just a discussion. So, we're not making yeah, no We decision. need to actually yeah. type it up and, and do a contract. Okay. So which that's the attorney so are we making a motion on that? No, 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 it's a discussion. Because discussion. Discussion. Yeah. the attorney has to draw up the contract. Oh, Correct. Okay. okay. But at least now the two of them have our thoughts on what to go back to the attorney oh, okay. with to draw yeah. the contract up. All right. Okay. Number 14, consideration and discussion and concerning Interlocal agreement with the city of Kennefit, Texas, for road repairs and related matters. So this was brought to us by. I think it's just an example. Yes. It is an example. Yeah. And, and what we want. Carly to talked to them and. Well, yeah, it was yeah. brought to me right here. What we wanted to do was look at this as okay. We got locked into a contract for how many years? Four, four. We got locked into a contract by the previous council Calvary. for four years at 50% that we would have to pay. Which is unheard and, of. And it's unheard else. of. We asked for copies of cities that would be in line with our size of cities. And what came back is you pay $500 a month, which would come out to $6,000 a year, that you would pay a flat fee that they would come out, it would be for a year at a time, they would come out and they would patch holes and do the maintaining of the roads as far as trash, ditches, everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what that would cover. Now, of course, it doesn't cover pulling up and repaving and rebuilding up and things like that for certain areas that we know have to happen. But and, and for four years, we were locked into 50 percent, and we had to go to the commissioner's court to get every single thing approved. If we wanted to grab a pothole, anything. it had to go to the commissioner court. Boo Rees wouldn't put us on the, on the commissioner no, court. We so we were locked into four years not getting what every other city got. Mm -hmm. And that's why we wanted this example. Right. So that, because ours is up for agreement, mm -hmm. we need to get a new one in place, and I want it basically the way it should be for any small city. Mm -hmm. If this had been in place like it should have been for four years, we would have had hot hose filled before our roads deteriorated to the point in which they were. Mm -hmm. So we need to get with Whitmire, uh, do we need to have a special meeting to have him come talk to us? Um, or do we just want to put our thoughts into emails and send them to you to go to the attorney to put it together? Or how do we want to do it, it this? It seems like we need to get on this as fast as possible so yes. we can start getting some repairs made. Some of our made. potholes filled so, with candy fields. Yeah, our roads. So, so, and, and ditches cleaned oh, out. We're going to have to go to the attorney anyways. Right. Right. But I think if we all send our thoughts on this agreement to Missy and then she can send them to the attorney, just like what what you think needs to be different in here for long growth i mean six thousand dollars a year i mean a year is a big drastic drop from 50 percent of everything and nothing getting put on the commissioner school right? yeah so. and, and what's different about this than the previous agreement which boo reeves, boo reeves wrote the previous um interlocal agreement um, so with the previous one, anything that they wanted to do, like the, right. anything, they had to go get approval from the commissioner's court. Mm -hmm. um, with this one, they would not have to get approval. They can come out automatically. You know, some someone out here calls them and says, "We need this clean, this ditch cleaned out or this hot hole fixed." They can come out and they don't have to get approval. Now, of course, and, this is limited to what he has in his budget. Right, right. And uh, something else that was mentioned to me was that Liberty County would probably be likely to go with this because it's the same as Kennecott. <laughs> yeah. So they don't have an excuse to not go for it. I mean they can't. Do y'all have they to do can. the five hundred a month? 
Well, we can debate that, okay. but, but the thing is, is we shouldn't be treated any differently than any other city if we were. We were treated totally different than any other city. Yeah. And keep in mind that Boo spent most of the budget on the helicopter pad at the shooting range. And another thing besides that. So there are limits to this year on their budget, but this is something we need to look at going forward. This is not a bad deal considering and, and, what we're locked into. And based on our recent meetings and discussions with them, they do want to to start on something out here. I mean, we've, we've met with them several times, and they want to, to repair you know, some of the small things, and then hopefully we can work on the agreements to repair the bigger things also. Yeah, because those have to be different than our local agreements because that's raising and repaving, so those are different than the local agreements. Yeah.
Um, so we can adjourn. I made a motion. We adjourn. And I second. <laughs> 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 that don't know a damn thing about engineered drainage saying we think you we think you flooded us did y'all flood houston uh -uh. you don't know what it is okay we, there you go. we have the only there is no engineered drainage in the city of plum grove there never has been and when i ask the question where is our drainage out of compliance where it's not nobody can say nobody can point to one thing they can't point to one thing other than just we think this, we think this is all these guys. This is what they did. They and so I'm frustrated because I've been involved with this since 2010. I've worked with these guys for 15 years, and we've we've operated and developed lots of places, and we are getting along fine with Liberty County. Go drive through our neighborhoods. Those are getting along fine with Liberty County because they're back in all of their pockets. I mean, I'm just saying. You're, you're just saying, do you know, okay, so that's a nice thing to say to all the county roads. That's all working great. Why are the roads in the city of Plum Grove so bad? Why are they not fixed? I'll tell you why. Because the city of Plum Grove has never had the money to fix their own roads. They never have, and they never built them. They never have paid for anything until Leanne decided she wanted to go to war with Trey Harris, and so she started passing the tax, decided to become a real city and providing services and demanding how roads would be built, designed, repaired, approved. And when she did that, now she's in the big game. Now she's a real government. And, but when she did that, she's already signed a document releasing my guy. We're out. They have no responsibility. Colony Ridge has zero responsibility. Their lawsuit by the city, it's complete, it's complete garbage. And so our, our position is that we do think it's a personal vendetta. That's exactly what it is. I, I, I have a question no about it. No, it was, absolutely Was there a traffic study done to what was going to happen to these no, roads? That no, no, sir. Activity? No. Okay, what, what is the plan? To, to my understanding, that back there is probably occupied maybe, what, 10, 15 percent? What's how are there's, people going to access this? There's never going to be one unless the city, who now, it's your city. We've already been released from it. We've are, we're out. That's, no, that's nothing whoa, 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 to do whoa, with whoa, whoa, whoa. No, the The developer back there no, has got to have a plan no. to upgrade these roads no, to accommodate the traffic he's fixing no. to put on them. No, not never going to happen. They've already released us. Who did? That's already been signed. Leanne Penton Walker. She did not sign that. That's a lie. <laughs> that is frankly a lie. You could call it the whatever. The previous council, including Mr. Pierce here, are the ones who went with that. Well, whoever signed it, oh, it's released. Oh, that's it's right. done. So now, now you're going to be correct about who signed it. It wasn't Leanne. Well, it was approved by the city, and we're released. We have no responsibility. 
Isn't that what, awesome? What, you have no matter? responsibility for 20,000 people yep. driving through our city. Yes, that's exactly right. There's going to be 300,000 in about five years. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. there, there's got to be a plan. Colony Ridge, ladies and there's gentlemen. There's got Colony to be a Ridge. plan to, to <laughs> egress and, and, and to go in and out. What 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 is the plan for that amount of people you're, to drive through? You're asking roads? the wrong guy. This is your city. Now, wait this a minute. Is, wait a minute. We didn't create that back there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay but there, there's to got to be a traffic study. Yep. Yep. So shouldn't that's you have exactly done a study right. before you First put it in and have you so And had a plan to accommodate that amount of traffic? We, uh, we filed every plat with the city of Plum Grove. The city of Plum Grove, hang on, hang on. That's actually not true. There is absolutely no reason for the situation for the traffic to go in and out. You're not following the traffic. No, because you Hey, how about the people in the city of Houston? Why did TCEQ find you? They have city engineers. They have county engineers. They have traffic yeah. studies. Yeah. They, they have all that, okay? Well, the county was taking care of all that. Well, the county didn't have a, 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 a civil engineer or a, a, a an engineer until recently. Okay, so okay, but there, you, but, you but really want to know you do a development like that, there's got to be a plan. If you want, there was if, no hey, plan. If you, if no, you want an answer, anything. if you do, you want an answer? Yes. Okay. The city of Plum Grove had no plan at the appropriate hang on no they no no sorry didn't okay. build right. development. I'm, I'm not taking any more questions from you i'm sorry they didn't you're not build the development you're, you're avoiding okay. my point what's your point my, my point is y'all built a development back there yep. and didn't have a plan to get people in and out of there or to accommodate these roads or to no. upgrade these no. roads to let your people no, in and out. No, no, we did. Matter of fact, we own 35 okay, okay. feet on the side What's of the road. What's your plan? You don't yell. What's your don't plan? Don't yell at our, our people in Plum Grove. Please tell us oh, what is your plan. Your plan oh, is to oh, fix so 35 yell, feet of the road. Uh, 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 don't cut this short, everybody. You you go. Oh, party pooper, come on. Go go on. on. We want an answer. Go on. We, go on. We, go on. We, the worst section of Plum Grove. They want to you a business card, too. You can call They eject you from the meeting if you still want to. The worst section of Plum Grove Road is from here to the new road. That's where all the traffic is. Why can't you fix that? That's most of the damaged roads are. That's where the worst. And y'all are crying over. Do you want to know how much money it's going to cost to fix the road? Well, you won't let me back talk. Problem? The worst, the, that's the reason the traffic back so five years to the is, Cape Rome at two miles If y'all built it over there, the yeah. the why didn't y'all plan for more exits <laughs> than just those two? Because those two are really no, less than no, everything. No, no, no. And so, exactly. The pro <laughs> and so far, y'all haven't dished out a cent to fix what's been tore up. Okay, so, okay, so first off, uh, the way this, the way platting works is you come in, you put in your development, and you approach the local government about how your traffic is going to flow in with their traffic. The person who was in power at that time, and we tried to do that. All of our plats have been properly filed. Was Leanne? When we ended in all kinds of lawsuits with Leanne. Leanne is the entire problem in the city of Park Grove. I can guarantee you. And so she, when we litigated with her, released us. We're out of the city. They, the city has signed away its rights to require us, the developer, to pay for the city of Plum Grove. Road. That's been that's done. It's over. That was signed in 2017. So okay. So, okay. So hang on, sir. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we offered, we've offered twenty five thousand dollars, and we got the uh, we got Liberty County to agree to donate its men and equipment to come fill in the potholes that matter to us. And do you know what the council said? They had a stupid vote last month to accept our twenty five thousand dollars. That was total manipulation. That was not even the offer. The offer wasn't to give the city council 25 grand. The offer was for us to choose where we wanted to spend the money on the roads that mattered to okay, us. Stop. And the city's See, response our was, attorney was there, we want, we want, we want all the, the roads fixed. That we had, we chose where we were going to take the money and fix the road. That's what our attorney told us sitting right there at that meeting last month. Bad idea. We signed it, but that was a bad and idea. he said, 
we get to choose? Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah, that was a super bad idea. And so my point to you is, is that $25,000. You weren't in our meeting last I mean, week, so you don't know what was said. Really, $25,000? No. Yeah, $25,000. The, the offer wasn't higher. to give you all the money. That was never that on the table. That is what our attorney said. Fix the, to fix the road. It was for us to apply $24,000 worth of road right. repairs. Yes. And that was rejected. <laughs> no, we signed. dollars on a two and a half million dollar No, no, no. Contract. You had signed for y'all to distribute how it was spent. I ain't giving money to the city council. That's over. That's done. This really isn't We, wow. we yes. have we have a lawsuit with no legs. Was it was it one of those deals where we need more than twenty five thousand? Well this is all we're gonna give you. You know what? Mm -hmm. Keep your money, we want more. Uh, no, it was not done but like was that. it like that? Was I don't understand like that? the question. The question is, did they turn down the deal because the twenty-five thousand dollars isn't anything? We didn't to turn down the deal. Much? It was approved yeah. in the last meeting. No, it wasn't. No, yes, it wasn't to his side. No. Read the, but read was the it? it was approved. No, we accepted no, the deal. We're not getting it no. because he didn't give the city council the twenty-five. We're not offering y'all twenty-five thousand dollars. We are willing to donate twenty-five thousand dollars towards repair of the roads that matter to us. And so clearly that's all you no. care about is the roads that matter to you. Right. That's Whoa. kind of that's kind of the point. And so you're a city, you're a city, <laughs> but you want to fix it right, right? Cuz no, it's they take don't. more what to fix. To I mean, it's going to take more money to fix. So, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm just, just you know, they just to put gravel But I know that much. What? That $25,000 is not enough to fix that. They said repair the roads. Putting gravel down is not repairing the roads. You've already been released. This is not our situation. This is a city problem. The, the city council has Isn't already released that nice? That. He ruins the city by wrecking the roads and says, oh, it's not our problem, it's the city's no, problem. I didn't say it. That's it, what, exactly what you just said. That's literally what you just said. It's not our problem. Okay, so no, now, so 25. No, I said the city's already released us, ma'am. We have no legal obligation to fix the city's and what roads. about your violations of the development agreement? What about the the multiple TCEQ reports that you got slapped with? The fines, you've had fines from TCEQ. What about the drainage? No, can I respond one thing at a time? Absolutely. Okay. We're not the wastewater company. It's in your petition. So once again, hang on, no, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. Let me re let me respond. You made your accusation. You said your developer's a piece of shit. Now let me respond. Uh, Would that I'm be sorry. okay? Did anyone hear me say he's a piece of shit? Why Did anyone hear me know? say that? I thought it. Was Did anybody yeah, hear I me say it, those yeah. words? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. you heard me say those words? No. Okay. okay. Well, we have a recording, so we'll Just, check on that. I mean, we're we're. Do you want to hear the answer or not? Absolutely. We are not the wastewater provider. We have a wastewater provider that is licensed with TCEQ. All of those investigations have been closed. If you want to take that matter up with the TCEQ, be my guest. If you want to sue Quadvest, be my guest. That's not Colony Ridge. We are not in the wastewater business. So the end. did you or did you not get fined by TCEQ for violations? Did you or did you not? For sewer discharges? No, we yes, did not. Yes, Colony Ridge did absolutely get fined. No. It's public record. <laughs> well, the roads. Well, th th those are issues that need to be taken up by the governor and I want to get back to the road. Sure. Love it. Y'all been on this for years. Absolutely. You've built developments. You know that you can't put in a development like that with a road that's not that's feasible exactly for access right. and all of that. How do you think you get relieved of the responsibility of at least helping out or at least providing a plan to upgrade to accommodate what's fixing to happen? In five years, there might be 20,000 people in there right now, but in five years, there's going to be 300,000 people. What is your plan to get those people in and out? Other than we've already dealt with that. It's out of our hands and it's up to you. What is the plan? Is there anything? I, I can't tell you. Sounds about because right. Because nobody investigated that. Nobody pre-planned it and there is no plan. Uh, you might think that. Was it? Well, what is the plan? Well, uh, It'd be good to hear. I mean, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, we're, no, no, and not in a smart ass way. It's more like, we're, yeah. I mean, if there's something. We drove these roads every day, and we want to know yeah. what the plan is. Yeah. We've lived here all of our lives. Yeah. And no, we, and I we think y'all are y'all are y'all are barking against, up the wrong tree. I'm not against should, the development. Sure. Back no, I just want to make sure that we have the, city. the proper infrastructure because to access. Been, 
We've been, yes, we have no legal obligation to the city roads. Zero. And we have offered how, how 20... can you say that, sir? Y'all put the development in back there. You have to have... Don't pull the document. She can talk to her attorney about it. She knows what I'm saying is true. No, I know it's not true. What you're Nothing saying might be completely true. true, and it's acid mine that somebody would release you from that responsibility. Yeah. Correct? You agree? Do I agree that it's acid mine? Just shake your head. Yes. I'm agreeing that that was a bad decision the by the city council. But, but hang on, sir. You sir, hang right. on. No, okay. If you want to hear my perspective, you're going to have to hear the story. Go ahead. Because the history matters. The history matters of of how we were messed with, jacked with, screwed with, screwed over. We tried to work with the city. We litigated with Leanne and the prior council hundreds of thousands of dollars. We tried to work out a transportation plan. We tried that. That didn't work. That's why we got released. Okay, she's hang on, gone no, no, no. now. She, hang she's, on, she's hang on. She's gone now. Can, can, can we renegotiate and get this thing right? Okay. All Dismiss the lawsuits. All those agreements were made before Leanne. Dismiss the lawsuit. Look into the history of the city. All of those I agreements know, were made before Leanne. Leanne didn't sign Why off on any have, of those agreements. Why do we have... Let me ask some hard You're questions. not telling the truth. Leanne didn't sign off on any of those agreements. Mr. You're, Pierce was on the council. He was one of the ones that signed okay, off on the agreements. Okay, you're, you're talking about technicalities. I'm oh, talking oh, okay. big picture. So you're saying Leanne signed it, but now you're saying she didn't sign it because it's big picture? Come the on, The document man. is there. Basically... What was your name? <laughs> Carly Sager. Yeah. So, Ms. Sager, the document is there. It was filed in 2017. If you'd like to email me, I'll send you a copy if you don't already have it. The city of Plum Grove has released us. That is a fact. It's irrefutable. I don't know who signed it. That don't make it right. It doesn't make it right. It was a very bad decision. You just said Leanne signed it, and now you're saying she didn't sign it. Okay, you keep going back to that, and I said, I just yeah, said... Yeah, I keep calling you I'm, out on what you're saying that's not true. Okay, I just said I don't know who signed it. Thank you for that correction. Okay. Are you good now? Because I'd like to ask a lot of questions. Good. Okay, no, hang on. No, 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 hang on. No, I want to talk about that. Our city is okay, being destroyed. So, okay, so, so file the lawsuit. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Where was the letter that was sent to Colony Ridge by the city of Plum Grove that said, we have hired an engineer and we have found seven places where your drainage is out of compliance with the engineer plan. Mind you, our drainage plan was designed by a professional engineer and approved by the county's professional engineer. Just so everyone knows, the county is actually investigating that choice now. So they're going back and looking into it because it looks like some shady stuff happened. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, no, I don't think so. All, all, all I'm trying so. to say is it, it almost don't matter how we got here. Well, it does a lot because, hang on, here's the problem. The problem is, oh, hey, let's, what's your name? Calvin. Calvin. Let's be friends, huh? But first, I'm going to sue your ass. No, I didn't with... do that. <laughs> right. Okay, so you talk to your counsel. Hey, you come at us, then it's freaking war. Then bring it on. Well, we, with, hang we, on. We but hang on. I called the city attorney, their, their guy, Carl Elred. I said, Carl, you're suggesting that we be friends. We would love to solve some problems. Why don't you dismiss the lawsuit? Dismiss the lawsuit, hire an engineer, your own engineer, to do your own drainage in your own city, not our city, a city we've already been released from, a city that we already fought with and fought our asses off and got released from. We have no legal obligation here, but you're asking us to be friends. I said, well, why not? how about a show of good faith? No, the answer is, screw you. The answer is, when we offer $25,000, no, that's not going to fix all the problems. Actually, that was approved, just so everyone knows. But it's knows, not enough. At the last meeting, well, okay, it, but approved fine. That. But, the, but okay, the deal was hang on, done. Hang on. Did we ask for the lawsuit to be dismissed before we offered $25,000? No. We didn't ask for a damn thing from the city. And but the, the city, city instead it. of... No, they didn't. Yes, they, they did. It's on the meetings for the last... Okay. No, that is a total manipulation. I, I'd the be city, more than happy to the city the agreed. The, the we minute, didn't offer the them the 25000 We offered 25000 where we got to select where the roads would be yeah, repaired. No, that's not what our attorney said. Isn't well, it? then your attorney is not, not up on the facts. That's well, what I would have to say. And so we didn't offer them the money. 
We still are offering the 25,000, but we're going to select so where the roads will be repaired. We just city. need the city. Are you to fix the roads? We just yeah. need the city to consent to allow us to work on their roads. What part of the roads are you willing to consent? That's all they need is consent. To work exactly. On the road. I wish that no, were that's Only exactly the right. That no, it's not. That's so. That's so, a so what happened lot. was? What happened? Was, no, it's not like that. It is a what lot. What happened was they brought an agreement to us that they were going to fix. Yeah, or they need to fix our damn cars. We just had to replace our. I don't know if you know, but the rest of our roads are pretty messed up. We just spent five hundred dollars on two cars. They were going to. Their, their fix was to scrape it up. So this is the agreement work. that was sent to the, us to review. <laughs> scrape it up. About, and scrape it up. Scra about. Excuse me. <laughs> scrape it up and put gravel down. I'm not right here. Yeah. Yeah. Like but then, yeah. 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 Anybody that wants to talk to me without Carly, I'd be happy to talk with you over here. No, thank you. I'll pass on the offer. Yeah. Somebody that don't challenge Look, I remember what those were. Am I still recording? No. Mom. You still want me to record? Where's Carly? Over there. That's it. I'm doing this because my mom. Where's Carly? This, this critical part right here between okay, the what about the ones around the Who's he talking to? Her now? Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, I can't, I can't talk about all that. I, mean, oh, no. I don't know. I'm just saying this was the initial yeah, no, no. offer. Um, and the city council manipulated it and did it in their own way and said, we'll take the money. But we're not going to give them money and then have them spend it on the lawsuit. That's not going to happen. We're not giving them it was a, Excuse me, but that was approved to fix roads last month. We're, we're not. We're going to pay it directly to road contractors. Yeah. But what it actually says on there, and we checked with the lawyer, it actually says that it was a donation without conditions. I don't know. Right. Uh, you wanted to talk to me privately. Yeah, I want to know Happy why to... she is being sued when she wasn't even on the council at the time. She came in the same time Mary did, and Mary ain't being sued. Well, we're going to have to get into that in the lawsuit, so. But you said in the meeting that anybody could ask you that afterwards. So we're yeah. asking. But I, I think you're against us. Oh, okay. I think you're working so with Leanne. So it's tactic. a bully tactic, that and so it's a vendetta you against Carly. My family. No. Um, yeah. Do you know that my husband is a partially disabled combat veteran? Well, he uh, served his country, and now he's going to okay. have to worry so about paying you attorney can, fees. You can make it all about so all of that you stuff. No, you just said it was family. a vendetta against her because no. you think she don't like y'all. That's not me. what I said. That is exactly read, what you just, just said. Just read the petition. Does that mean we that's read the petition. Trust the me. So I read right. it. And let, just so, you know what, I'm not even going to say it. And we didn't start this. <laughs> we didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, anybody yes. Anybody standing yeah. out here that goes against y'all that y'all think are against you? They sue. sue. Yes. So if, if anybody wants they to run for city council for and yet you think they don't like, like you, you're going to sue them what for a million dollars. Okay. Does anybody you. out here have a okay. million well, here, dollars? Here's the thing. Does anybody, can I borrow a okay. million dollars? Because I'm being sued for a million great, dollars. Whose great idea was Do it to hire Wayne Do I look like I have a million dollars? Who approved that My husband is disabled combat Well, that was dumber than shit. Well... You're dumber than so shit. So you're suing us because you're mad that we hired Wayne Dulce. That's it. That's oh, it. He's addressing my so, respect so, talking to women. Yeah. <coughs> addressing women with a little bit of a foul language there, brother. You need to address your own language. Hey, right? let's get out of here. Yeah. yeah run. Bye. 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 Have a good evening. That's what face can do. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm, have a good day. I'm not gay. You do look gay. Bitch. Uh-uh, Tiffany. Uh-uh, Tiffany. Uh-uh, Tiffany. Come on, bitch. Tiffany. Come on, come on, come on. Tiffany. Hey, you're talking Tiffany. like you look pretty uh, fucking uh, gay. Uh, Tiffany, this is exactly what they want. No, no, Tiffany. Okay, 